السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How to receive ليلة القدر the night of glory. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in His ever glorious book, "Truly, we sent it down on a blessed night." I bear witness that there is no god but Allah, and that Muhammad is His servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. One of the greatest merits with which Allah blessed the nation of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is Laylatul Qadr, the night of glory. It is the best of all nights. This night fills the universe with its light and instills hearts with its affection. It is the night of unique reward for those who exploit it. The Almighty Allah made this night better than 1,000 months in terms of the reward that one gets for performing acts of worship on that night. Allah the Most High said, We sent it down on the night of glory. What will explain to you what that night of glory is? The night of glory is better than a thousand months. On that night, the angels and the spirit descend again and again with their Lord's permission on every task. There is peace that night until the break of dawn. Laylatul Qadr is the night of glory, honor, and dignity. It was on that night that the Almighty Allah has revealed the best of his book, the Quran, to the best of his prophets, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Ibn Abbas said, Allah sent the Quran down all at one time from, from al lawh al-Mahfuz, the preserved tablet, to the house of might, Baytul Izza, which is in the heaven of this world. Then Jabriel brought it down in parts to the messenger of Allah over a period of 23 years. It is on that blessed night the Almighty Allah sets the decree of His servants' deeds, lifespan, and sustenance. The Almighty Allah said, Truly we sent it down on a blessed night. We have always sent warnings, a night when every matter of wisdom was made distinct. At our command, we have always sent messages to man. It is among the manifestations of the blessings of this night that Allah forgives the sins of a person who spends it in prayer out of his faith and seeking reward from Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever spends the night of Laylatul Qadr in prayer out of faith and in the hope of reward, he will be forgiven his previous sins. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, This month has come to you. And in it, there is a night that is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of it is deprived of all good goodness. And no one is, de is deprived of its goodness except one who is truly deprived. Also among the blessings of Laylatul Qadr is that angels descend from heaven and at the top of them is Jabriel and therefore the earth becomes full of light and tranquility. The Almighty Allah said, On that night the angels and the spirit descend again and again with their Lord's permission on every task. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, <clears throat> The angels on that night upon the earth are more than the number of the pebbles. This night is a night of peace and reassurance from its beginning till the time of the dawn. As the Almighty Allah said, there is peace that night until the break of dawn. This carries a call for spreading peace in land on that blessed night as well as other nights so that good prevails. Stability is achieved and fraternity among human beings is fostered. Laylatul Qadr is the night of forgiveness from Allah. Once Aisha asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, O Messenger of Allah, if I realize Laylatul Qadr, night of decree, what should I supplicate in it? He, peace be upon him, replied, You should supplicate, Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. O Allah, you're most forgiving. And 
You love forgiveness, so forgive me. Laylatul Qadr is the night of Allah's forgiveness. Therefore, we have to well prepare ourselves for it by performing night prayers, reading the glorious Quran, making remembrance of Allah, and invoking the Almighty Allah. We must receive it with pardoning, forbearance, tolerance, and avoiding discords, because discord brings evil and prevents blessings. Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, went out to inform the people about the date of the Laylatul Qadr, but there happened a quarrel between two Muslim men. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I came out to inform you about the date of Laylatul Qadr, but as so-and-so and so-and-so -so quarreled, its knowledge was taken away. I forgot it, and maybe it was better for you. Also the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Shall I tell you a degree better than prayer, fasting, and charity? Yes, they replied. He went to say, Improving a state of friendship, causing discord in a state of friendship, is what shaves things away. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, there has come to you the disease of the nations before you, jealousy and hatred. Hatred is the shaver, destroyer, that shaves destroys religious commitment. It does not shave hair. By the one in whose hand is the soul of Muhammad, you will not believe until you love one another. Shall I not tell you something which, if you do it, you will love one another? Spread the greeting of peace amongst yourselves. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that reward fits action. So as we aspire for the mercy of Allah, the Almighty, on these blessed nights, we need to have compassion among each others. Because the one who is not merciful to people, Allah will not be merciful merciful to him. The merciful people are shown mercy by the Almighty, the most compassionate. Actually, compassion is a conduct, an action. It requires cooperation and solidarity. That is, the rich must help the poor and the strong must help the weak. Out of your belief that whatever is spent for the sake of Allah will be rewarded in double. The Almighty Allah said, Those who spend their wealth in Allah's cause are like grains of corn that produce seven ears, each bearing a hundred grains. Allah gives multiple increase to whoever He wishes. He is limitless and all-knowing. How much do we need to make use? of the remaining days of Ramadan and devote this time for worshiping Allah and benefiting people. We have to pursue making use of Laylatul Qadr as it is a night that gives a person who devotes it to worshiping Allah a great status and honor in the sight of Allah. We may make this night a new phase to start our lives again with repentance to Allah, asking His forgiveness and controlling one's own self and encouraging it to do good deeds and avoid evil ones. The Almighty Allah said, Say, Allah says, My servants who have harmed yourselves by your own excess, do not despair of Allah's mercy. Allah forgives all sins. He is truly the most forgiving, the most merciful. Allah also said, So race for your Lord's forgiveness and a garden as wide as the heavens and earth, prepared for those who believe in Allah and His messengers. That is Allah's bounty, which He bestows on whoever He pleases. Allah's bounty is infinite. May Allah free us from the hellfire and make us among those whom He shows mercy. May Allah save our country Egypt and all countries of the world.